Everybody wants to know when the rain will get here, and Jim is here in the First Morning Weather Center to give us more information. All right, let's take a look. It'll arrive in the Hill Country first a little later on in the night tonight. Uh, probably spread across most of the area between 6 a.m. and noon tomorrow. We'll get into some specifics for you here right now. As you can see, it looks like it could rain out there in the Hill Country anytime. This is a live view from our Alano County camera there, uh, but there's no rain on the radar locally to show you at all yet. 81 degrees in Austin right now. Our evening planning forecast keeping it very mild and muggy. Uh, we're only down to about 72 degrees at 10 o'clock tonight. The storm system that is going to bring the rain is moving through northwestern Mexico right now. Now, this is a far more southern track than most of the storms we've tracked for you uh, this autumn season. That's why we have some pretty good chances for rainfall. You can see some development there east of the Big Bend uh, already. We expect that to continue. You can really see this storm wound up here on the water vapor imagery over northern Mexico. Now, it's not as strong of a storm as it was when it was out over the uh, eastern Pacific Ocean, but it still should be able to bring some rain. Unfortunately, the uh, computer models have been trending a little dry. With every model run over the last two days, and right now it's looking like uh, rainfall totals are not going to be uh, enough to make a dent really in our drought. This is our uh, estimated uh, future clouds and radar uh, imagery where we expect to see rain and uh, thunderstorms at 11 o'clock tonight. And this is mainly just some light rain, patches of rain developing here in the metro area out ahead of the system. This is 2 o'clock in the morning, though, maybe a little more organized line of showers and thunderstorms developing mainly in the hill country, but Maybe spreading as close as the uh, Austin and I 35 area, too. This is rush hour tomorrow morning. We could start the day with some significant slowdowns with some rain in the area at 7 30 a.m. Let's go forward now to 9 a.m. And uh, this orange area would represent some strong to possibly severe thunderstorms with some embedded heavy downpours of rain. Again, this is 9 o'clock in the morning and it's from the Austin area south. All right, let's advance through the morning hours. Here we are, noon tomorrow. Rain coming to an end in Travis County. Uh, the sun even breaking out down south towards San Antonio, still raining up over Milam County, Lee County, parts of Fayette County. Here's 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Rain has ended in our viewing area with sun breaking through the clouds from the metro area back to the hill country, and then we'll see very quiet weather and uh, clear skies after that. Uh, risk of severe storms from the Storm Prediction Center through 6 o'clock in the morning. Slight risk of severe storms right up into the Austin area and most of the Hill Country. Then tomorrow's risk of storms after 6 a.m. through 6 a.m. Wednesday morning is from the uh, metro area eastern Hill Country eastward over in Louisiana, but again, this would be mainly up until about noon tomorrow in our area. And the slight risk for our area is mainly for large hail, penny size or bigger, maybe some strong gusty winds too. All right, rainfall totals, these are what have been trending down. Now we're only thinking maybe a quarter inch to a half an inch out in the hill country. Wherever that one big blob of heavy thunderstorms moves through, that's where the heaviest could be. Maybe a half inch to an inch in our met metro counties and then the uh, storm Prediction Center, or rather the National Weather Service uh, Hydrometeorological Prediction Center, putting about an inch plus over from Fayette County um, eastward. Specific numbers from our computer model uh, is a little more optimistic, giving Austin an inch and a half uh, around around Lake Travis, almost two inches of rain, inch and a half or so in Blanco, less out in the hill country, and a little bit less off in our eastern counties too. All right, here's what we have right now. Upper 70s and low 80s. Austin's 81. The airport is 83, and skies are mostly cloudy. Winds are southerly at 8 to 13 miles per hour. Pollen count today still medium at 765. Temperatures around Texas. Pretty warm today ahead of this system coming in. And this is a Pacific system. It is not going to get cold behind it. Our lows tonight, when it starts raining early in the morning, will fall to the mid-60s. And then still in the mid-70s tomorrow afternoon, some colder weather arrives by Wednesday. Let me show you here. For tonight, uh, some patchy light rain, increasing shower activity overnight. In the morning, rain, some thunderstorms, some heavy downpours possible. In the afternoon, though, we see that activity come to an end and up to 75 degrees. We're optimistic. 80% uh, chance where you are that you get at least something measurable. Of course, that can be .01, but something measurable for you tomorrow. And then we're dry for a couple days. Notice quite a bit cooler there uh, Thursday. And then into the weekend, we begin to cloud up and warm up as well.